So here is a very special day today. Now here we have NASA representative Justin Tillman. Okay, and I think first of all I'll give the word to him. So good morning. 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 I can't hear you at all. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. So good morning. And happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Earth. But from NASA's view, the Earth is a little bit different. So I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the Earth from space. Where is space? Where is space? Somewhere there. Somebody's pointing there. Around us. Space is up there. So in Russian, I think you say cosmos. Right? In English, we say space. So I have a question. How many people are in space now, today? How many people? Two? Zero? More tries? How many people are in space today? Four? Five? Three? Seven? Eight? Eight? Nine? Ten? <laughs> Your chicken and somebody else. Yes. So today in space, there are five people. Five people. And we're going to show you a picture. What country do you think those people are from? Yes. Russia, yes. Canada, good try. No, not Canada today. China, China not today. Sometimes. USA, yes. And one more country. China. Russia, yes. USA, yes. China is a good guess. Sometimes, yes, but not today. Canada, good guess. Some place that has really, really nice food. Italy, yes, Italy has good food, but no. <laughs> So the number three astronaut today in space is from France. Good food? Yeah? So maybe you saw on the news this week, two new people went to space. What do we call people in space? Thursday. From Baikonur. From Baikonur, yes. So they got on a rocket. And maybe you know these guys. Does anybody know their names? You know who this is? Your chicken. Yes. You know who this is? This is his name is Jack. And Jack is from Colorado in the middle part of America. And Fyodor is from Russia. Actually, Georgia, but he's a Russian cosmonaut. So they are in space now. And where do they live in space? Where do they live? Yes. On the moon? Sometimes. Sometimes, but not today. Any other guess? Where do they live? Rockets. They do live sometimes on the rocket. Yes. You're right. So the astronauts today live on the space station. So I'm going to show you a video. The astronauts are living on the space station. 
The space station is 400 kilometers in the sky, in space, and it's going around the Earth. If this is the Earth, oh, here's the Earth, this is perfect. The space station is 400 kilometers away from the Earth, and it's going around the Earth 27,000 kilometers in one hour. That's faster than the Sapsan, much faster. So the space station can go all the way around the Earth one time in 90 minutes. One hour, 30 minutes, they go all the way around the Earth. And so let's say, let's, let's just pretend that that's the Sun. If we say that is the Sun, the astronauts are here. For the astronauts, it's daytime. And then they come over here 45 minutes. If the astronauts are here, that's the sun. This is nighttime. 45 minutes. Daytime. daytime. So their day is really short. Every 45 minutes for the astronauts, the sun goes up. 45 minutes later, the sun goes down. Is it a problem for him? Yes, because in this time, the space station can be really hot, and this time, the space station is really cold, no sunshine. So we have to build a good machine that 45 minutes really cold, 45 minutes really hot. You know it gets bigger, yeah. small. So I'm going to show you a picture of the Earth, actually video, of the Earth from the astronaut space station. So this is the space station. And this is what it looks like when they look outside the window. What is that? What is the flash? Lightning. Did you know on the Earth, there's always lightning? Anytime they look out the window, they can see lightning. What's the green part? And what's the white part? City lights. City lights. Where do you think this is? Maybe. Maybe. What is this? Typhoon. Typhoon, hurricane, yeah. What is the blue part? It's the sea, it's the ocean, yeah.
So on the space station, the astronauts have cameras and they're studying the Earth. So for example, they watch the ice on the Earth get bigger and bigger in the winter and they can take pictures of the ice getting bigger and they take pictures of the ice getting smaller and they have a lot of science instruments. They can check the wind on the Earth and they're trying to understand the Earth and how it changes. So from space, the astronauts say that the Earth seems very small and they say it is very, very beautiful. They say we can't understand how beautiful the Earth is. And they also say from space, they cannot see one country. They said it just looks like some small pieces of land. They cannot see France or Germany or Spain. For them, it just looks like a small piece of land. And they say, people should understand that we are not so different. We all live on some same small piece of land. And we should not fight with each other. So when the astronauts are living on the space station, that's what they can see. NASA also has lots of satellites. Does anybody know how to say satellite in Russian language? So NASA has many, many satellites that are studying the Earth. In fact, we have 21 satellites now that are going around the Earth to study different parts of the Earth. These are the NASA satellites. <laughs> well, I said 21. This says 25. <laughs> So every day the satellites are going around the Earth and they're studying different parts of the Earth. So for example, the satellites are studying the ice that's getting bigger and smaller. They're studying the green things on the Earth, like trees and plants. And they can watch them get bigger in the summer and smaller in the winter. In places like Brazil, they can see the green things going away and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They're watching the storms in the ocean so that they can tell people that a storm is coming to some place. They're checking also the ocean, where the ocean currents, the waves. They watch the waves in the ocean because that makes the weather. So all of these satellites are taking, are getting pictures, like pictures of the Earth. And NASA scientists are putting together all those pictures and understanding how the Earth is changing. So this is an example of some of NASA's satellites and the different kind of science that NASA is doing. These are the ocean currents 
So there's heat in the ocean, and it makes the waves go in certain directions. And that makes the weather. This is ozone. The red part is ozone. This is heat on the earth. This is checking the storm and which way it's going. So NASA is also using airplanes to study some problems. For example, we send airplanes for one or two months to the Arctic, and every day they're flying to the same place, and every day they take the same pictures, so we can see the change in the ice using airplanes or drones. So in NASA, we have a lot of people who are scientists. And the scientists are trying to understand the Earth and how it is changing and what will happen in the future. So we need lots of people like you to study really good in school, to study math and science, so that you can also help us understand the Earth. Does anybody want to ask a question about space or the Earth? So this is about space and the Earth. Thank you for listening to the presentation, and happy Earth Day. Thank you. Hi there. My name is Alona, and I'm so happy to see all of you here right now. As you know, today is Earth Day, and Earth is one of the planets. So today I would like to tell you some interesting facts about planets. And before we start, I have one question for you. How many planets do you know? Okay. Nine planets. Well, eight. Eight planets. Eight. Nine. And can you name all of them? Sure. You mean not name? Okay, first one. Okay. Mars. Okay. Saturn. 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 How? 
Jupiter. Right. Well. translated solar system for you so you'll know what does it mean. So there are eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Okay, now let's take a closer look at each of them. First planet is Mercury, and you can see how it looks in real life. So Mercury is a very small planet actually the smallest planet compared to all others. And now you might ask me, why this planet got such a name, Mercury? Well, let's take a look at this picture. Do you know these guys? From what, where did I see them? Okay, yeah, right, but where's the movie? Wait, where's the movie? Hercules. Yeah, that was Hercules. And he was, uh, do you remember their names? I forgot. And the other one? This one? Oh, well, actually, that's right. In Greek. Oh, yeah, try to have Mercury on, like, above. Where would be Mercury? This one? That one. Red one. No, that's not true. Let's try again. Well, I think that this one might look like this. I think this one, yellow one. Well, so, uh, in Greek, the name of this guard was Hermes, and he was God messenger, he was very far, and he was delivering messages. And that's why you can see wings on his helmet and wings on his sandals. But in Rome, the same guard had a different name, Mercury. And because this little planet is not only the smallest, but also the fastest, so it rounds the sun really quick. That's why this planet got such a name. Another interesting fact about this planet is that Mercury doesn't have any moons. You probably know that Earth has a moon. And Mars has even two moons. And some other planets would have even more. I'll tell you about it just in a minute. Okay, let's move on. Another planet, Venus. Venus also doesn't have any moons. And now let's take a look at this picture. Do you remember that? I guess this red guy who was helping Hercules become a hero, right? And this beautiful lady, well, she's the goddess of love and beauty. Her name was Aphrodite in Greek, but in Rome she had the name Venus. And I think because scientists really thought that this planet it's really beautiful, that's why they gave such a name to this planet. Okay, and another interesting fact about Venus is that it's very bright, it's very bright planet. It's almost like white or light yellow. That's one. Can you try to find Earth here? Where is the Earth? That's one. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Well, Earth is the only planet that would have liquid water on the surface. So you can see on the picture ice, liquid water and steam. For example, you can find ice on Mars, but you'll never find liquid water on any other planet, only on Earth. And as you see, three quarters of Earth is covered with water. So it's all oceans, it's different seas, lakes and rivers. Okay, and Earth has a moon. Yeah, that looks like that. Another interesting fact is that Earth is the only planet that wasn't named after God. I don't know why. Okay, let's move on and let's see more. Huh? God of War. War. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, it's Mars. And Mars has two names. So Mars and Red Planet. And I think you can guess why, because it's very reddish. And if I would show this planet right here, it would be this one. Yeah, and before
Explain how you want interesting fact about Mars. Tell me, how many days are in one Earth year? How many days are in one Earth year? Three hundred sixty-five days. That's right. But if you live on Mars, your year will be six hundred eighty-seven days. Okay. And tell me this thing. Do you like swimming during summertime or in summertime? Do you like swimming? Who else likes swimming? Do you like swimming? Do you like swimming? Okay. Do you like swimming? Yes. You do? I really like swimming in the summertime, you know. But that's why I think I couldn't live on Mars, honestly, because can you imagine during the hottest day in the summer? On Mars, the temperature will be only minus 5 degrees. So instead of wearing bathing suit, I would probably have to wear a hat and winter coat, you know? So that's not for me. Okay? But actually Mars is not so different from Earth. For example, if we talk about day, it's right 24 hours in a day. But on Mars, one day will last 24 hours and 39 minutes. So it's not so different, I think. Another planet, Jupiter. Let's find Jupiter. It's the largest planet. It's the largest one. No, that's alright. It's the largest. This one. That one, exactly. That would be Jupiter. So it's giant, giant planet. And Jupiter has 60 full moons. And four of them are so big that you can see them even using just a small telescope, you know? Okay. It's also a planet. Saturn. That was Saturn, that's right. It's also a very big planet, for example, if Jupiter would be so big, Saturn will be a little bit smaller. But, Saturn is very light, so let's imagine that this is Saturn. And if I put Saturn in the water, it would float, it wouldn't sink, you know? It would be so light. Can you imagine this? That's amazing. Saturn has 19 moons. Okay, next, Uranus. Yeah, I, I think that one, exactly. <laughs> well, Uranus is a lazy planet, or I call it a lazy planet, and I will show you why. This is Earth, and this is Uranus. This yellow line is axis. Look at this. Uranus almost laying on the side, so it's like slipping, you know? That's why I call it a lazy planet. Neptune. Well, the only fun fact about the neighborhood is that it's very slow. So one year, Neptune would last 165 years on Earth. And what about Pluto? Is Pluto a planet? No. No, why not? <laughs> oh, yes. Pluto is not a planet, so please remember that. But I still love it. And you know why? Of course, Pluto has a heart. Can you see a heart on a Pluto? Can I see? Can you? Show me. Where's the heart? Show me. Do you see the heart? Yeah, this one. That's a heart. That's the heart of a Pluto. That's why I love it. Well, right now I told you some interesting facts about different planets, and I really hope this was interesting for you. And maybe that would make you learn more about this planet, and next time you'll come here and you'll tell us about it. But now I want to warn and talk about celebrating Earth Day. So Earth Day is a holiday, but when do people start celebrating this holiday? Well, First time, people started celebrating that on April 22nd in 1970s. On this day, people were thinking, what we can do to keep planet healthy and safe? And that's what I want to ask you. What can we do to keep our planet healthy? 
Okay. Uh, thank you for a little for this amazing presentation. Bye. We will now have a special experiment, which will present our fabulous volunteer Roman with Volcano. Please welcome Roman with Volcano. Hi guys. What's up? So, two days ago, I was trying to make a volcano from papier-mâché technique. Um, if you're interested in doing this experiment at home, you can later ask me some questions about how to make it. Um, so now I will show the chemical experiment, which is called volcano eruption. Have you ever seen volcano eruption? Like, uh, even in videos or something like that? Yeah? Sit down, was, was sit scary? down. Yeah? Sit down. But when you are like close to the volcano, is it easy to it is really scary. So you have a chance to see Sit how it down, happen. In, please. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Uh, you have a chance to see how volcano eruption is going. So what we are uh, doing? We have a water. Yeah. Please keep distance also. Yeah. Just this way. This way. Now it's a baking soda, pishivaya soda. Yeah. You are so smart. <laughs> uh, now we need um, yeah, washing agent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I guess we need more water. Now we are going to mix it. I hope that this experiment will go, because I'm not sure. <laughs> I really hope. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The action is starting now. We have a vinegar. Oopsus is vinegar. Are you ready? No. I don't listen to you. Yeah! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start! Okay guys, welcome to the American Center in Moscow. We are having today our fabulous children's club devoted to Earth Day and actually to Astronauts Day. So, and here as I can see, here is our robot station. It's about all amazing this, dash and dots robots. Yeah, and now I want to ask somebody who are here about their experience about robots. Mirza, could you tell us, please, what is going on here? So we have race with the rope. Uh, we just put them here. Okay, let's let's just try a race. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God! It works with Bluetooth here with this mic, and also we have uh, uh, virtual glasses there. Uh, there, there are videos uh, about space. It's very interesting. They're having fun now. They, they, they come from Mars. <laughs> yeah. They are aliens. Yeah, they are aliens. And here are our fabulous volunteers, Lisa, Lisa and Lisa. Actually, they're making their main body arts here. Lisa, some, somebody, could you tell us something about this station? How many people was there, or uh, were you? Our best here to camera uh, to draw everyone and 
What's the what's actually uh, the most popular thing on the face? The most popular thing on the face or on the hand? Where is some somewhere? And actually, could you tell us about this rocket? So it's very beautiful, and colorful rocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's rainbow rocket, yeah. yeah. Okay. A special. <laughs> Sorry, we're not talking so much. But yeah. How many astronauts you will prepare today oh, yeah. to train cosmonauts, astronauts? All of them. Okay. Oh, all of them. All of them. Okay, we are continue. So, and now we are here with our fabulous astronauts from NASA office, the originally astronauts. Uh, actually, here kids and their parents can make pictures just right there, and with this uh, the, this um, uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. This going to the moon. In space. You astronauts. Yeah. I'm planning to just fly to space. I have seen you on the Earth. Yeah, I'm planning to stay there for 100 years. <laughs> okay, so in here is uh, Katya, or yeah, Kate, and here is station devoted to static electricity. Yeah, here is some cool stuff. I mean, this maze. We might take this stick. Of PVC. Magic stick. Magic stick. We will charge it with a fur like this. Just the end of the stick. And now we will kindly invite this ball to follow us. Wow. Very kind. Very kind. So, in there is actually Mohammed who are presenting all about static electricity. With, with balloons. Mohammed, could you tell us please about this station? Yeah, um, basically we are doing about electricity, <laughs> static electricity. So we have different types of materials that we are using. And then um, you can see we have paper here and then we have uh, this one when we uh, charge it. And then we bring it closer. <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. So and actually today are so many kids and they will have a chance to explore all our stations because we have today a lot of stations. Just right there is uh, coloring and puzzles. Yeah, here is fabulous lady for coloring. Actually, parents can allow to make and participate in all stations that they want. They can help their children and help their teenagers or just join our conversation club if they want to. So, and here is uh, our fabulous ladies uh, uh, who are representative here as a music station and also about Planet's Crafts. And they're going to sing a song for you. Yeah, afterwards, afterwards they will sing on the stage, yeah? Yeah. To have a performance. Okay. <laughs> this is a students? Oh, yeah. They are students. No, they are not students today. They are planets today. <laughs> <laughs> they are planets. <laughs> yeah, they are actually planets from yeah, from great. space. Okay, we'll go to other stations. So, and ha here we have recycling station. It's actually really important. Yeah, it's actually really important uh, for recycling because it will be the future of our planet. So, Aksana, could you tell us please more about the station? Fortunately, the trash is a big problem for our planet and for our life uh, because uh, uh, polluted air is very dangerous for our life and we should care about it. Uh, what we can do? Uh, first, we should uh, um, Collect, uh, collect separately our trash. Uh, for example, paper to paper. Paper to paper. Plastic to plastic. plastic. Oh my god.
Actually, today is Earth Day, and it's really, really important here because Earth Day is actually devoted to uh, devote all these problems. Yeah, avoid these old problems in the Earth. Yeah, all this recycling stuffs about polluted air and everything. We can make some useful things from this trash. For example, these uh, things from paper, these things from plastic, and cuckoo plants from our <laughs> mm -hmm. So. And so here is the station with virtual reality glasses. They, they, they will have a chance to explore the space or Earth by their own eyes. He is now with these headphones. We will ask. So, and here is conversation club for parents and teenagers as well. Yeah, day to day talk about Earth and space. Yeah, about problems, about how to avoid these problems. Yeah, and we will continue our trip. Как ты сделала? Покажи еще раз. Ты выиграла? My congratulations. Что это такое? So here is the station devoted to Makey Makey products, uh, which people can add. Actually, all this, all these things are the for electricity, and they can just tap it out and play this game. Some games. So actually, I heard there is somewhere here is about rockets. I didn't see that. Talked about Voyager One and Voyager Two and uh, our solar system. Okay, could you tell us, please, how many people was in your were in your station today? Mm -hmm. There were the children, mm -hmm. all the parents, uh, and uh, we blue. Uh, Red rocket, red, ro red rocket, and green rocket, and uh, we uh, uh, go a uh, rocket for children. <laughs> we started our program for uh, for study a uh, solar system, and uh, we want to study uh, Uranus. Neptune, uh, Mars, <laughs> <laughs> and our rocket, and our rocket uh, fl flying right now to space. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Philip. This station is actually really important because here is the space when all people can create their own planets, their own spacecrafts or spaceships that could fly to cosmos or space. Yeah, here. Turing created some cool stuff. I mean, this rockets, this, this stars, this UFOs, or it's Saturn. I don't know. So and they they glue it with glue gun and put this for the sky. Really, really cool. Here is the rocket, and here is the young astronaut. Yeah.